In this video, I'll demonstrate how to upload a CSV file and record its data into a PostgreSQL database using the Node-RED dashboard. Let's dive in and take a look. This is an example CSV file. The example consists of usernames with various data that will be recorded. This is Node-RED dashboard to upload CSV file and modify the data. In the dashboard, there's a button to upload the file and a play button icon to start recording data from the CSV file into the database. The data that has been recorded in the database will be displayed in a table. In addition to performing insert queries to record data, we can also perform data updates. Click on the data in the table, and the data will populate the form below. Then, you can edit the form and click the update button to update the data. Additionally, we can also delete data. Here are the required nodes used on the dashboard, such as the node red dashboard, UI table, PostgreSQL node for database connection and contrib loop for creating loops. To upload a CSV file in the Node-RED dashboard, we need several nodes, including the Node-RED contrib UI upload node. In the Manage Palette section, go to the Install tab, search for the keyword Upload, and find the node named Node-RED contrib UI upload. Then, click on Install and wait for the installation to complete. To learn more about how to use this node, please visit the Node Red Flows page for detailed instructions and examples. The next node that needs to be installed is Node Red Contrib Chunks to Lines. In the Manage Palette section, go to the Install tab and search for the node with the name Chunks. Select Node Red Contrib Chunks to Lines, then click Install to proceed with the installation. This is an example CSV file that will be uploaded. It consists of columns for username, user ID, first name, and last name. At the bottom, there are five pre-filled data entries that we will upload to record the data into the database. This is the node red dashboard that has been created, consisting of three groups, upload CSV, which contains nodes for uploading CSV files, view data, which will display data in a table, and update data, which consists of a form for updating data. Let's try uploading by clicking the upload button on the dashboard, then select the CSV file and click open. Next, click the play icon button to insert data into the database from the CSV file. Then, in the view data group, a table will appear displaying the data from the database. To edit data, click on the data in the table, and the form below will populate with the selected data. Then, you can modify the data in the form, and click the update button to change the data in the database. Yep. Click the refresh table button to refresh the data displayed in the table. You will be able to see that the data you edited has changed according to what was filled in the form just now. Next, let's try deleting data by selecting the data to be deleted in the table. Then, click the Delete Data button to delete it. The data will be removed from the database, and you can view the updated data by clicking the Refresh Data button. After seeing the node red dashboard, let's take a look at its flow code to create the dashboard we just saw. Starting from the upload node, configuration in this node, the accepted file types are CSV, and for transfer type, select binary. Next, connect from the upload node to the chunks to line node to read each row in the uploaded CSV file. Then, connect it to the CSV node to convert between a CSV formatted string and its JavaScript object representation, in either direction. Select the semicolon as the separator. Next, connect it to a function node to create a message called dataset with its value being the payload generated from the CSV node. 
Next, use a loop node to iterate over the values from the dataset one by one to perform insert queries into the database. Next, add a change node to get the values from each row in the dataset message. Next, to avoid recording duplicate data, I'll first check if there's already existing data with the username and user ID to be recorded. If duplicate data is found, the data from the dataset won't be processed for the insert query into the database. If the data already exists, I'll generate a notification indicating that the data is already exist. If the data is not found, then proceed with the insert query process using the PostgreSQL node for the data available in the dataset payload. Next, connect to a node for executing a select query to retrieve data from the database. The select query node will also be triggered by a button for manual data refresh. From the select query node, the payload will be sent to a function node for processing as an array, which will then be connected to a table node to display the data in a table. When a row in the table is clicked, I will save the values for the username and user ID to flow variables. These variables will be utilized later for updating and deleting data. Additionally, the selected username and user ID from the table will be displayed in a visual text element to indicate the chosen values. The selected data from the table will also be displayed in a form containing fields for username, user ID, first name, and last name. When the update button on the form is pressed, it will then proceed to a change node to retrieve the values filled in the form, and it will also fetch the values of username and user ID from the flow variables. Next, it will check if there are any changes in the username and user ID values. If there are changes, it will conduct a check with a select query. If the data is found, the data won't be updated. If there are no issues with the data, it will then proceed to process the update query in the PostgreSQL node. Next is the process of deleting data triggered by a button. When the button is pressed, it will connect to a change node to retrieve the values of username and user ID selected from the table obtained from flow variables. Then, it will connect to a PostgreSQL node to delete the data based on the selected username and user ID, and display a notification. and then it connects to a node to display data in the table so that the displayed data is refreshed. Thank you for watching. You can download the flow code used in this video from the link provided in the video description. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.